my car phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, the 80s. What? You want to know more about the Miami Vice car? This is one of two screen-used 1972 Ferrari Daytona Spiders from the TV series Miami Vice. One of the most popular and influential TV shows of the decade. Where did this unusual replica come from? There were only about 122 Ferrari Daytona Spiders ever made. Tom McBurney from McBurney Coachcraft built four Ferrari Daytona replicas on the chassis of 76 Corvettes. Once they were completed, they had a VIP party to show them off to their highest tier clients. TV star Grizzly Adams attended the party and recommended it to his friend who was working on a new show called Miami Vice. Miami Vice loved the look and bought the black car number four and put some Ferrari badges on it. As the show started growing, the studio also bought red car number one, painted it black, and used it as the stunt car. Those were the only two cars used for the first two seasons. The show was a smash hit and drew the attention of Ferrari. Ferrari was not happy the show was portraying a replica as a real Ferrari. Instead of suing, they agreed to donate two real 1986 Ferrari Testarossas as replacements. So, on the first episode of season three, the show writers blew up the Daytona. They didn't actually blow up the car, just a model for safety and cost reasons. They sold the car after the show and it went up to Canada to be used in a 1989 John Candy movie called Speed Zone or Cannonball Run 3. When shooting was done, it was so beat up they got rid of it and it was just left out to rot in the desert. In 2005, Volo Museum got a tip on the beat up car number one prototype, bought it, and brought it back to restore it ourselves, but at a risk because it was still undocumented. After a lot of research, we were finally able to document it through a series of small details. The original car was red before they painted it black. When we stripped the paint down, we found the red paint. It was smacked up so many times, the passenger side was an inch and a quarter shorter from a rear end collision. The show originally put the Ferrari emblem in the wrong spot and had to move it, but never covered up the holes right above it, as you can see. Side note fun fact, during the show, one of its mechanics stole the car to do an illegal gun deal and then got busted. He was arrested and the car was impounded during the filming of the show. The show's producer, Michael Mann, had to go get it out of police custody so he could continue shooting the show. Like I said, there's only two that were used for the show. This is the only real one to be used on public display, the others in a private collection. Thank you for tuning in to this totally awesome rad episode and I can't wait to show you the next movie car tomorrow. Hey, did you know that everything in Florida is in the 80s? The temperature, the humidity, the average age, and the IQ. Oh!